Welcome to CDA Miami Kids, where we learn more about God. It is October. Incredible. For the next four weeks, we're going to be going on a virtual road trip. By the way, Lizzie is going to be on her own road trip with her own family for the next two weeks. Hi, Lizzie. Enjoy your trip. We'll all see you at station three of this virtual road trip. Kids, have you ever been on a road trip? When we think of road trips, we might think of gas station snacks, maybe singing along to our favorite songs, or taking in the sights. But when the Israelites went on a road trip of their own through the wilderness, it was a little less glamorous. Okay, it was a lot less glamorous. In this series, we'll learn some of God's rules of the road from Moses and the Ten Commandments all the way to what Jesus called the greatest commandment, to love God and love our neighbors as ourselves. Together, we'll discover that we can love God and others. Buckle up and sit tight. Turn on your car radio because it's time to worship God on the go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. There is no commandment greater than these. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than me. 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 Timmy, how are you? Are you ready for a road trip today? Hello, Danny and CDA kids and friends. I enjoy coming here every time we have a different adventure. Yes, I am ready. Okay, Timmy, would you rather go on a road trip to the mountains, the beach, or an amusement park? Jump once if you choose the mountains, jump twice if you choose the beach, or jump three times if you choose the amusement park. The beach, the beach! <laughs> you see, Timmy, I know you so well. I knew you'd choose the beach. <laughs> I love road trips to the beach with my master. We do that every month. It is fun! <laughs> well, taking road trips to fun places is the best. Throughout the next four weeks, we're going to continue our virtual road trip together, discovering what the Bible tells us about the Ten Commandments and the Greatest Commandment. Today, we'll hear stories about what it means to obey God. I obey God when I obey my master. My master is the authority God put over me. <laughs> 
Good point, Timmy. That is the same as obeying our parents. And sometimes we do not want to obey them when they ask us to do chores, while we'd rather play, right? When we obey, we always get rewarded. The best reward for me when I obey my master is that I make him happy. Good puppy, Timmy. Obeying God, we make the wise choices. God gets very happy. Let's see what the Bible story tells us today about obeying God. I love the word of God. It helps me to be a better puppy. Let's go, Danny. Let's go. What? I'm going on a road trip, but I have no idea what to pack. So guess what? I'm gonna pack everything in my room. I forgot my journal. Oh, and my crayons. Do you think I'm packing too much? I don't. You know who else would know what to pack? My friend Allie. Hey, Kels. Hey, Allie. What you up to? Well, I'm getting ready to go out with my parents. How about you? Me too! I'm going on a road trip with my family, and I have zero idea what to pack. I know, right? Okay, do you have your suitcase? My suitcase? Um, yeah, sure. Actually, I have my clothes, my guppy bears, my fruit snacks, my journal, and my stuffed animals, but I don't have my suitcase. Well, you kind of need that. What helps me when I get ready to go out on a trip is I make a list, and what's most important, I put at the very, very top. That makes so much sense. What's important should be on the top. That reminds me of a Bible story I heard at church. It's time for our Bible story. Long ago, God's people, known as the Israelites, used to live in a place called Egypt. But they were treated very poorly there. So God sent Moses to rescue the Israelites. Once they finally escaped, they had to travel for a very, very long time to a new land God promised them. Oh, like a road trip? <laughs> yes, in a way. One time during their journey, God met with Moses at the very top of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Wow. There God told Moses about how God's people should live. Like rules? Yep, rules to help them live right. The first rule or commandment God gave Moses was to not have other gods before the one true God. What does that mean? It means that God comes first. God should be the most important part of your life. That's true. The second commandment God gave was to not worship idols. What is an idol? An idol is anything you pay more attention to than you do to God. Like a toy? Yeah, can be a toy too. Why did God make this rule? You see, sometimes people forgot about God because they couldn't see God. God wanted the people to remember who had rescued them from Egypt and who was with them every day taking care of them. That's fabulous. It's so important for us to put what's important as first. I can put God first by praying to God when I wake up every day. Or by thanking God first when something good happens. I know it would make God super happy when I do these things. Exactly. We obey God by putting God first. So, did you get your suitcase yet? I sure do. I realized I had everything else but the most important part. Great, so now you have a place to put all your snacks, all your clothes, and your toys. For sure. I knew you would be the best person to call and ask. By the way, where are you going? I'm going to Niagara Falls. Whoa, I always wanted to go there. Bye, Callie. Friends, on this road trip, guess who's coming with me? Guess, you. I'm taking my crazy, fun, amazing friends on my road trip with me. Catch you next time. I gotta pack quickly and get out of here. Hello, CDA families, kids, and friends. I will be your driver for this virtual road trip for the next four weeks to discover the Ten Commandments. That's just a fancy word for rules God wants us to live by. 
The whole story is found in the book of the Bible called Exodus, and our first stop is a place called Mount Sinai. So in this story, God is speaking to Moses, who is up on the peak of Mount Sinai, he liked mountains too, to hear from God about the ways God wanted the people to live by. Today, we are going to look at the first two rules. Let's read Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 and 4 together. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven, above or on the earth, beneath or in the waters below. The first commandment God gave Moses was to not have any other gods before the one true God, or in other words, to always put God first. The second was similar. Don't worship idols. Idols are things people pay more attention to than they pay attention to God. The Ten Commandments help us live the life God wants us to live. If we believe in God, we should always put God first. That means that no one and nothing should be more important to us than God. Let's practice remembering these together right now. I say, God first, and you repeat it. Then I say, no idols, and you repeat it in the same tune. Ready? God first. No idols. One more time. God first. No idols. Very good. All right. Psalm chapter 19 verses 7 through 10 tells us God's laws are perfect, trustworthy, joy-giving, eye-opening, pure, long-lasting, righteous, and sweet. It ends by saying that there is a great reward when we follow them. We'll talk more about that on our next stop. Timmy, come on in. Hey everybody, give me a drum roll. This week's big idea is... We obey God by putting God first. Repeat it with me. We, we obey God, God by putting God, God first. Now we you. One, two, three. Awesome! Now it's time for us to Can go ahead. Can I say it? Can I say it? Go ahead, Timmy. <laughs> now it is time to obey my master and wash our hands or paws with lots of soap for about 20 seconds. It is very important. Correct. Let's go, Timmy. Let's go. Now it's time to do the Bible verse of the month. Let's do the motions together. Luke 10 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10 27. Good job, guys! Now it's time for us to pray. And before you ask, Timmy, go ahead. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, Danny. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, we, Timmy and Danny, are here talking to you. I know you know this, but I'd love to tell you. God, help us to understand that you should be the number one in our lives that makes you happy. We want you to be happy with us. Nothing can be wrong when we obey you. We want to love you every day more because you loved us first. In your beautiful name, Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen. That was a great prayer, Timmy. Thank you. And thank you for being here with us today. Remember to be there on Wednesday for another amazing Zoom session. That's right, preschoolers from 5 to 6 p.m. And elementary schoolers from 6 to 7 p.m. Invite someone new so that they can learn more about God. All are welcome. And remember, we obey God by putting God first. Bye! Bye.